loading. Hi everyone, this is Kay Hurricane and today I'm building my home for my founding sims for the Lucid Legacy Challenge. And if you don't know about this challenge, please visit the link below. It's in my uh, description box. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more uh, content. And the first generation is Farmer. So we're building our home in Hinsford on Badley. And this is a 64 by 64 lot formerly occupied by the Watson family who I evicted. So my sims Giovanni and Veronica, ooh, I forgot their names for a second, will be living here and building their farm. I originally thought when I first started that it was a uh, like a financial requirement, like your sims couldn't have more money than, you know, whatever. And for some reason, I think because I watched another video about generational legacies, I assumed that my sims couldn't have any more than 1,800 simoleons. And with the land costing 1,100 simoleons, um, that left us with very little money. So I decided that I was, I decided to build this home out of a roof after watching something on YouTube a little while back. And um, I thought it was so cool that you could build a home and not use a lot of money because the roof is actually a structure. It provides covering and everything. And so you'll see as I build it, um, there are some pretty cool elements to this. So like if you're doing a rags to riches challenge or um, a struggle challenge, like the the, a lot of the homeless challenges are really popular. I don't personally like to play homeless. I like, or unhoused. I like to have all of my sins basic needs met before we start playing. But I mean, if you are looking for that kind of challenge, then building a home with a roof like this is probably really cool. Um, but anyway, so what I did was I decided to use just to make it kind of rustic looking by using some hardwood floors and then i'm using the bed from the echo pack it's like the cheap struggle bed as i like to call it um and then i decided to make the house smaller because it would be cheaper and you know during all of this i completely forgot to turn this into a tiny home lot to reap some of the advantages for that but uh you know i just i was just gonna build a one room and instead of building a bathroom which i started doing i decided to use ravishing's rabbit hole bathroom mod which is really cool if you're trying to build small places or if you like me just don't like the whole like having to deal with the bathrooms like i generally cheat my sims needs the, the bladder hunger sleep i tend to and hygiene i tend to cheat because those are basic survival needs and i don't want to stress out about those in the game so i just cheat them so i don't necessarily need a bathroom but you do need a place for your sims to use the facilities should that come up especially if you have visitors and stuff so the ravishing a uh, rabbit hole bathroom is pretty cool. I decided not to make a kitchen. I'm just going to use the cooler as a refrigerator and we're not gonna have a grill because there's a park not too far away that has a grill. So if we wanna cook anything, we can. Part of the challenge is to have the simple living lot tree on. So you can only cook what you have in terms of ingredients anyway. So it's not like we'll be doing a lot of cooking in the beginning. Um, so some things to tell you about the terrain paint that I used for the walkway, that's from Charlie Pancakes, who's one of my favorite sim creators. Uh, the table is Ravishing. The dresser, I don't remember who the creator is, but I'm pretty certain it's from Sims Resource. 
because most of my custom content is from the Sims resource. We're going to put down some farmland or some garden plots so we can crop, so we can plant because we have to max out the uh, garden gardening skill. I'm putting on the simple living trait. I gave it some good soil. I made it a home studio and I think I did like water to help with our water bills. So there's the little house, right? So it's cute. It's really cute. Um, and then I noticed that I made it too small. So now I have to adjust everything again because I uh, had to make the house bigger so that everything would fit inside. But yeah, I think this is a really, really cool idea and I'm gonna play with this more. So I may do this for another challenge. I'm gonna add some uh, terrain differences. So I'm trying to make some hills and stuff after I place these trees. Now I warn you, I'm not really good with the uh, terrain paints and adjusting the heights and stuff. So you're gonna see like now I have these big holes and divots. I don't know which terrain tool works the best for this, but what I wanted to do was just give some variation to the ground so it felt a little more, I don't know, realistic, I guess. Um, and then I also wanted to create a pond. So that's coming up. There will be a pond uh, for my Sims to go fishing because I think that's pretty cool. And what's nice about that is if for some reason we find that the pond is no longer working, we can just get rid of it. I'm not like tied to it. I just kind of like the looks of ponds. And I have this idea that, you know, living on a farm, you need to have somewhere where you can also fish and get frogs. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's raining and um, I don't have the mod in my game to turn off weather in build by mode, which I probably should have put in because it makes life easier, but I'm not gonna waste time with that now. So I'm trying to level the floor of the water area, um, but I'm not really having a lot of luck with this. So I think eventually I'm just going to uh, let things sit as they see like I got rid of it I was so annoyed so we're trying this again we're making like a little divot in the land we got more water and see I'm just not having the I'm not having the best of luck with this um I'm not sure why usually I have much better luck in building these kinds of um, environmental things but today just not so much and sometimes I just get so taken like so the sound of the terrain paint that airbrushing is really soothing to me and at times it can cause me to lose track of what I'm doing because I'm listening to it see look I can't stop I just keep using it and then I mess things up worse But we're gonna just keep going, keep going. Gonna throw some um, water greenery. I'm gonna put some bushes around the edges. I'm not really sure how realistic that is, but I don't care. I kind of like the look of it. Um, move that tree over to the edge, add some more bushes. And then, yeah, just add more of this. I just like this, um, I I don't know, I like the feel of this. So when I was younger, I used to go to summer camp and there was, in my summer camp, we had a farm and there was a lake or a pond or whatever the hell it was. And I used to go and hunt for uh, frogs all the time in it. And it's just such a good memory for me. So I always put like a pond and a place where people can go frog hunting. So I'm running out of money and I'm going to just give myself a few more simoleons. And, you know, in hindsight, I probably didn't need to limit myself as much as I. 
Thanks for watching. Check back soon for more and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.